Let's build a coffee crew. Good morning, everybody. We're taking a nice early morning drive into a waterfall here and hoping to see some wildlife on the road here this morning. Uh, so far, we haven't seen anything today. Oh, triple bridges. I probably should have drank this back at the beach before we left this morning. Oh, that's a challenge. Oh, that's a beautiful spot this morning. This is all marshland out here. And with all this marshland, there's gotta be a moose out here somewhere. It's so beautiful out here. Look at the very top of that mound right there. I've been out here before, but you think I could remember being out here? <laughs> no, I said none of this looks familiar at all. But that's the ocean out there. We are just outside of Prince Rupert, BC. Uh, you can tell a lot of fishing in this area. These are just bins of fishing nets. All right, museum, five kilometers ahead. North Pacific Cannery. Oh, that's wicked. <laughs> Look at the tiny home way out there. Hey, <laughs> imagine living on that thing. I don't know about you guys, but that right there is hella creepy. Can you guys see? Look. There's two girls right there, face into the wall. We're in a cannery. Cans. That's why they're called a, a cannery. This is actually some pretty high-tech stuff. The cans all roll down there. They come through whatever these machines are doing. Oh, it's like a full production line. It goes all the way through. Comes out of this end. This is clearly where they, I think they weigh them there. That's where the lids go on them. They come through all here. They go up, across, down, probably packaged here. That is wild. When was this built? 1889. 1889. This is uh, quite the production, man. Bitch, these machines are loud. That's pretty cool. It's the local fire department. Fire, you just grab this and you run with it. This is cool. Red rose salmon. Looks like they can for a lot of people if this is all the ones that they did. It says Universal, Queen Charlotte, Princess Canadian. I wanna go play in there. Hey, where's the train conductor guy? Look at that. Push the button. There's the train right there. Look at it come, here it comes. Um, why'd it stop? <laughs> there it comes right there. Choo -choo. Walking over here, my first thought was, remember that place we went to on the East Coast where you'd walk into a building and someone was like, hi! Oh, yeah. Uh, I was walking around this corner going, please not somebody being in there going, hi, my name is John Cather. Welcome to my home. I used to live here. This is my stove. Uh-oh. Apparently that guy's wanted. John, can we see, like, what the heck? It's a tiny home. Uh -huh. 
If you think about it, man, these guys were living tiny home life. Look at this. Where's your poo bucket? Where the poo bucket at? See, I went to a place in um, Telegraph Cove on Vancouver Island, and there was a sign on the side of the building that said how they used the washroom there was they used to just sit their butts over the end of the plank is what they called it, and they used to just poop in the ocean. And I made the comment going, and you think us van dwellers are nasty. That's gross. Imagine just hanging over the edge, just like. This place is pretty big though. When we looked at the pictures online, this place looked like this small. I got a little bit of PTSD from that last place we were at. Because we would literally walk in and someone was like, Hi! Well, this is cool. The old radio to communicate. You know, Chris, the mess lab. <laughs> it's like a micro, is that a microscope? Yeah. The old school organ where you pump it with your feet. We can't even be in an old weird house and we're running, in a, running into subscribers. <laughs> Later, weirdos. Yeah. <laughs> <Hello, good night. laughs> oh, that's an old couch. Damn. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of my room. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure. I think we might have had one like that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We definitely used to have one of these. An old Electrolux vacuum. Whoa. I do have a question. Why the heck does a cannery have so many typewriters? What kind of weird communication was going on in this place? Whoa, this is crazy in here. And the sound effects help a lot right there. Register is wicked. Old tobacco cans. There's probably the deli back here. Uh oh, that's where they did all the gambling. I kind of feel weird walking into people's homes. <laughs> I'm glad they don't have people that surprise you in these ones. Cause that place scared the crap out of me. And I thought for sure the house back there, they pooed in buckets. These guys have flushables over here. Yeah, those are European housing. So for the highest statue employee and their family. Oh, <laughs> so lower statues back there don't get any place to poop? No. Wilson catalog from 1974 to 1978. 1978 marine catalog. Hey look, old spanking supplies. My mom uses to spank me with a wooden spoon all the time. Your mom ever spank you with a wooden spoon? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That mom, was an angel. My mom used to beat me silly. <laughs> <laughs> she used to smack me until that wooden spoon broke and then she'd get mad because I broke her spoon. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. is that Can anybody tell me what that is is that a little baby kitty house it's for the local puppy <laughs> that's funny because it even has like non-slip stuff on it and it goes to a little tiny baby house it's creepy this is something weird in that building 
That's the second creepiest thing here. There's another mannequin right there. Man, if she turns her head, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> well, that was oddly satisfying. <laughs> Worth the 15 bucks for darn sure. I think I'm gonna have to come to terms with, I can, no offense to anybody, I can now do old people stuff and it's fun. Most of my life, you wouldn't have caught me dead going into a museum, old historic cannery. Now, uh, maybe I'm getting old. Am I getting old? Ready to go to Prince Rupert? Yep, that's it. Images radioed me and said it looks like there's a water fill-up station back here. Alright, does it work? That's potable water. Nothing. Potable water. We got some water. Whether I need it or not, always better to top up every time you get the chance to do it for free without having to buy it at a grocery store. This jug's at about a, a quarter left. my lack of calorie intake right now. That looks like a giant pile of comfort food. <laughs> That's a pretty decent looking burger. Oh, big greasy pub burger to fill that hole of mine. Look at these pee jugs. Hey, these pee jugs got puppy paws on them. Hey. You put the pea jugs on the top shelf. I've been to Prince Rupert before, and I remember when I was here last, I was probably jumping around with stoke and excitement for everything. Now, it's a lot chiller because I find once you've already discovered and explored the place the first time, the second time is just quaint and a real nice place to come back and visit. But I'm really seeking that on another level adventure out of this trip. I think it's time for us to go out and start playing in more dirt. The best day of this travel trip so far was me going up that Telqua Pass, or partway through it anyway, until it got really steep for me. But at the glacier, was in that moment right there where I knew that's what I want out of this trip. I wanna put myself in adventurous places, put my van in places where it challenges my drivability or challenges my van itself. So I think, I think, we're gonna head back into Terrace, which is the next big town that way. We're gonna super stock on supplies because from that point upwards is where Northern British Columbia starts to become very sparse. So Terrace would probably be the last big town before we start bouncing through a bunch of little itty baby tiny ones and piles of dirt. So we're gonna go out and get into some, get into some trouble, I think. But popping out here to Prince Rupert was amazing. But I was looking at the map today, I'm thinking, hmm, only a seven hour ferry ride from here, we can go to the island of Haida Gwaii. 
so much just about went, come on, come on. If there wasn't so much backcountry up north to go explore, I'd probably go to Haida Gwaii. I think that trip to Haida Gwaii will be coming up in one of these travel seasons. I hear it's damn beautiful. Anyway, guys, let's, uh, let's go see if we can get up to any more trouble. It's probably bedtime pretty soon. <laughs> He's got an air horn mounted to the to the roof of his car. He's driving around with a big smile on his face. The party ears are out. <laughs> I like doing this sometimes when you hit a town. Go for a drive through some of the residential areas and through through the new downtown and the old downtown, the nice downtown, the grimy downtown. Yeah, it's fun. Looks like these blocks have uh, had better times, man. All right, well, uh, <laughs> that was Prince Rupert. All right, we're gonna head to a little pullout on the side of the highway we've seen on the way in. That's where we're gonna stay today. It looks like the fog's starting to roll in. That was actually a pretty good day today. We're camped at a little spot. Here's another camper there. Emily's parked over there. The highway's just above us here. Seems okay. I wish you could have come to the cannery today, buddy. Hey, it's where they put fish in cans. Well, they used to. You like fish? <laughs> you want some treats? Oh, that perked you up. Look at the look at the eyes just start to glisten. You want some treats? <laughs> His head cocks out. He's like, you want some treats? How would you like a treat? Look at his face. Okay, go, go, no, no, not on the bed. Go on, down here. Come on, buddy, on the floor. You get up too, buddy. He's like, what the heck? What the heck? Where'd they all go? Where, you're eating them all, buddy. I'm off to bed, you guys. Thanks for coming to the cannery with me. I think I need to do more of that stuff when we hit towns. That was a blast today. I never imagined that I would enjoy a piece of history.